everyone, welcome back to Utopia University. Today we're discussing something we've all struggled with at some point, slow Wi-Fi. Let's jump into it. You pay for fast internet, but Netflix keeps buffering and your video call freezes. Now your phone says it has a great connection, but you feel like you're gonna get ghosted. I'm here to talk about five things that could be slowing down your Wi-Fi and how we can fix them. Router placement. If you have your router on the floor or behind your Xbox, we've got a problem. Wi-Fi uses radio waves like a car radio or a walkie-talkie. Other signals interacting can cause signal degradation, which is obviously unwanted. So when your video keeps buffering or your Zoom call freezes, that's not just bad luck, that's physics. So what can you do? We want your Wi-Fi router to be placed typically in a central location in your home so that the signal can broadcast throughout the rest of your home and away from devices like a microwave or your refrigerator as these devices do impact and degrade the signal. That brings us to number two. So placement of a router on something like a microwave is terrible placement as the like radio waves will interact and degrade your signal. Baby monitors or Bluetooth speakers will disrupt specifically routers that use the 2.4 gigahertz range. So it is nice to have a router like this one which supports 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. That actually segues us straight to tip number three. Use multiple bands and avoid congested channels. First, log on to the router's web interface to enable all available bands. Typically, you can access this web interface through the router's smartphone app or by using instructions printed on the device itself. If connectivity issues persist after enabling all available bands, try selecting other bands using information from the router itself or by doing some detective work with a Wi-Fi analyzer smartphone app available on both Android and iOS. Here's a big one, too many devices or old gear. If your router is more than five years old or if it came free with a plan from 2016, it's probably struggling to keep up. Also your smart fridge, your smart lights and your doorbell camera, I mean your cat's Wi-Fi litter box, they're all connected and they're all slowing down the party. Now finally, number five, regular maintenance and updates. Just like your smartphone or computer, your router needs to be regularly updated in order to stay on top of the latest security issues as well as performance boosts that could be enabled by an update. Updating your router will not only make them work faster, but also make them more secure from outside influence. Check the cable, the cabling that runs between your router and your modem, as sometimes these cables can wear down and cause signal degradation or even break entirely. So just make sure that you're using correctly rated cabling. If you're paying for 10 gigabytes speed, don't use a cable that's only rated for one gigabyte speed. All right, let's recap the five Wi-Fi killers. Number one, bad router placement. You don't want your router to be somewhere on the floor or in a closet. You want it in a central location. Number two, interference from other devices. You don't want to put your Wi-Fi router on top of your microwave or next to your baby monitor as these devices will interfere with your connection. Number three, checking your band and channel settings. So you want to analyze using a smartphone app or similar to make sure that channel you're going to be using is the most available. Number four, using outdated or overloaded equipment. Old routers oftentimes will not be able to support as many devices as new routers can. And honestly, there's a lot of security vulnerabilities out there that might get your old router. So you want to make sure that you're using the most recent devices. And finally, number five, making sure to update your equipment regularly. This equipment does have security vulnerabilities sometimes and updating that to its latest version will protect not only you, but also provide you with a fast connection. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Utopia University. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit that like and subscribe and see you next time.